YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com. And in today's episode of the Madden 23 Coaches Corner, I'm going to break down the U-Trips offense, which I believe is the most underrated offense in the game. Personally, I think for passing offenses, just pure passing offenses, when this is run at a high level, I find this to be the best offense in the game for just a heavy passing attack. Now, as usual, in the coach's corner, I'm going to break down the full game, give you all my tips and strategies throughout the entire game. So, if you like high-level gameplay, if you guys like the ins and outs of the game, the strategies behind the game, and not just money plays, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, you know, drop me a like, comment on the video. All the support does help me out a lot. You guys have been asking for more gameplays. So I've been trying to give them to you. So, right off the bat, this guy, I can see what he's doing. He likes his Y option wheel play, which, you know, gives you, uh, you know, the running back out of the backfield. The tight end is a big threat out of that play. A lot of times people send him on an out or a corner. Then we got, of course, you know, post over the middle. So I'm going to do a lot of cross man here. Um, he actually has flash at receiver, which is absolutely wild to me. But, hey, whatever works, buddy. Um, <laughs> and right now you guys can see he has Ricky Williams at quarterback, too. Which, Ricky Williams has Escape Artist. So, this is going to be an interesting game. I, I've honestly not seen anybody use this strategy. We got Quad Farther in the backfield. Flash a receiver. Ricky, excuse me, Ricky Williams at quarterback. This is, this is going to be crazy. So, he has a touchdown right here and throws a pick. Good read, buddy. Good read. Don't ban me. 3-3-4. Three, three, Looks like I'm playing the next MCS champion right here. That was a dot. That was just a dot. What can you say? But yeah, he is running this streak, corner, flat, or motion slant combo relentlessly. Basically, he's having a corner to the tight end, a streak to the outside receiver in the trips. Then he's either doing a flat or he's motioning the slot receiver, which is flash on that slant, having a post come up by the one receiver by himself. Now, he's been sending the running back at the backfield and then the wheel... And he, you know, he he was doing a good job mixing it up. Honestly, he should have thrown a pick, but you know how that be in Madden. When someone throws a pick and you don't get it, you can best believe in the next few plays you're probably gonna give up a tutty, a tutty. So we're gonna we're gonna have to lock down on that. This could be a hard to stop just because this offense is already so difficult passing wise. You guys can see I was getting pretty crazy with those adjustments just because like. <laughs> The routes over the middle by, by the motion slant and the posts, I mean, they're so hard to stop. Then you have to worry about the tight end on potentially like a whip, a out, a corner, running back out of the backfield. This formation is crazy, but what is taking it to the next level now is this guy's using Ricky Williams, the quarterback. Oh, man, this is going to be for a frustrating game. So I'm just I'm in New Orleans playbook this game. I'm in the Saints. Um, I don't know what this guy's about to run on me, but I feel like this is going to be a high-scoring game, so we need to answer. We need to answer for sure. If I could get a stop, two stops this game, like I feel like I'll definitely win, but like I, I don't feel like I, I can uh, you know give up drives without getting points. Now, he's running dollar base in line, too. He has Derrick Henry at sub-linebacker. He's using Chad Johnson. Um, it looks like that's Sherman Dion. I'm just trying to see who he all has. So he was in cover four right there. He blitzed the left slot. So, okay, he saw me attack seams. Now he's moving the guy down in the box. Okay, yeah, this guy's going to be a good player. He, you know, he already adjusted to the seam by moving the safeties down in the box. But next play, we got a crib shot. So one thing you can do when somebody is running, basically a pinch defensive line on a dollar just try to stop your trap, and they're only rushing three, maybe four, the draw is a really, really good play call. The draw is a good play call because you're essentially going to get everybody who's not blitzing dropping back five yards as if they think it's a pass. So by the time you know you get five yards downfield, you're pretty much untouched. You pretty much do have, if you can get the next guy to miss a chance to break a huge game, just as I did there, so if he wants to run that cover four, rush three or four on me, he's going to be in trouble. He's going to be in trouble. Now, this is an interesting like scheme he has because not only is it weird just the way he's running it, but because he has technically two running backs in the game, he could do some weird audibles here. So I'm interested to see if he's going to mix in any audibles. Um, this is a pretty toxic offense, I'm not going to lie. This offense is throwing me off. Like Looking to become a better Madden player and win more games? Check out sportsgamers.com. 
I built SportsGamers.com from the ground up to give you the best Madden tips, best Madden ebooks, all at the best price, bar none. We have a VIP membership that gives you access to the entire site, every ebook, and every tip we release all year long for only $24.99. Click the link in the description. I've also pinned it in the comments and use coupon code Duke for 10% off your order. Like I, I have yet to, this is the first time I can remember playing against this Ricky Williams escape artist as he throws an absolute book, a uh, absolute book. So I'm not gonna lie, like right there, I left him uncovered. I was honestly just bo booking, hauling ass there <laughs> with my user. Um, the, the reason why that worked is he just looked so open because no one was... I literally had him unguarded. I don't think he anticipated me going over there myself with my user. So that was a big play because this... I'm telling you, this Ricky Williams escape artist, like, he's kind of tough. Like, I know a lot of people were hating on that card, but, I mean, if you have... You know, if, you, if, if you're good with escape artists, which is not nearly as good as last year, don't get me wrong, but if you're good at it, it can be a problem. As you guys can see here, I capitalize with this seam pass. Again, you don't want to adjust those safeties. I'm throwing seams on this dollar all day long. I'm going to make you adjust those safeties every single play. A lot of people get lazy. They don't do it, right? It's honestly like it's hard to run dollar at a high level because there's so many adjustments you've got to do. I've just been running dollar for years now, so I feel pretty good with it. But like you have to move safeties. you got to man 100 people up. you got to – yeah, you got to – potentially shift your D-line, change your user. It's a complicated defense, but once you master it, I think it's definitely the best defense like year after year because the blitzing out of it is always good. All right, so we're back on defense, guys. You can see that my coaching adjustments are pretty simple. I just have five-yard flats for my curl flats. Everything else is on the fault. I'm just doing a lot of cross-manning, again, because he's kind of honestly been running the same concept all game. Is he's just trying to do some slant post over the middle, corner streak, to the tight end outside receiver of the trips and potentially the running back out of the backfield on a wheel. So what I'm doing is I'm manning up that outside corner on the running back. So if he does go out, he's manned. And if he doesn't, we're going to double team that post route by uh, Carmichael. The reason why you see he has the trips on the wide side of the field is because he's trying to hit that corner out to uh, his tight end. who I believe that's Edron James. Now, he actually made an adjustment there. Instead of the tight end corner out, which he kept doing, now he sent uh, his tight end over the middle, and then he had the outside trips receiver on a post. So now he's changing up his hot routes a little bit, and he goes to a similar play right there, and that's that's not open. Y'all tell me, was that open? I don't think so. But we know how this year's game is. <laughs> and again, the very next play... Back to the, the, the flood concept on the, the, the wide side, the trip side, which is going to basically allow him to attack with the flat corner, deep zone, uh, run off with the streak. Now, that's why I feel like this is a pretty toxic but yet interesting scheme is you can just throw to that slot receiver on the flat, on the slant, and, you know, take those 5, 10-yard passes and turn them into big plays if you make somebody miss. Because, like, he, uh, Flash's ability, or the X-Factor, I should say, Phenom, He's going to make the first guy miss the majority of the time, whether it's a run or a pass, which is why, to me, that's the best ability, or X-Factor ability, a.k.a. X-Factor. That's the best one in the game. Now, so I, I'm tired of the flats. I'm going to put that guy in a purple zone over there to stop that flat throw. I didn't really blitz him that hard this time, so he just tries to take off. Thankfully, my D-tackle John Madden saved the day, because otherwise that could have been a big play. Thankfully. Um... Has to see Ricky Williams with the X Factor under his name icon. All right, we're pretty much bagging up here. Minus Flash. <laughs> that was me, man. This guy literally is running the same two plays the whole game. And they're hard to stop. That's why I said, like, you get someone who's good with this formation, it's a problem. All right, so down here, I was expecting the same thing again. I was setting up my adjustments to stop the corner slant post. And what do you know? He runs the ball. Was not expecting that. And remember, he has quad father, right? <clears throat> he has quad father. X factor, right? So if he does run the ball, this is going to be, you know, a hard, you know, play a run to stop. Because, you know, his X factor is lit. He's going to break the tackles. And honestly, like, I wasn't even paying attention to run because he just keeps passing every play. Now, down in, you know, inside the 10, especially with Quad Father, I'm keen on the run, right? I'm going to go nickel normal just so I, 
I, I, I want to force him to pass. I don't want to give up another run. This nickel normal is actually really hard to run on this formation because of all the routes to the tight end. You never know if it's going to be that weird whip route, you know, a corner route to the tight end, the tight end going over the middle, even just a seam. Um, it's really difficult. And he actually... Okay, so he took Quadfather out. Now he has Flash in the backfield. I wonder if this is so maybe he can audible to another formation. Um, I want to give him a different look here and play zone. After I just played uh, man over some brave. And is that a dot? Ooh, that was a tight window. I'm not mad at him for trying it because you got it down here. That could that could, that could have been a pick. It, it could have been a pick. Now, what do I, I don't know what I want to do here. Like, I feel like he's going to pass. So, like, we can go back dollar because third and eight. Or third and goal, excuse me, from the eight. You know, you're not really going to run, right? So I'm just gonna play coverage, cover two. I'm gonna rush three, try to lurk some, try to lurk some. Oh no! Ah! Oh. And that's what makes this so hard to stop. You got all these routes, and then that happens. Damn! It's tough. It's tough. Ricky Williams, quad father and flash, man. This dude went heavy. This dude went heavy on these uh these X Factor abilities, whatever you want to call them, man. The thing is is I haven't even looked at them, but knowing what he has on those three players, that really almost I mean, he can't have anything else too much but basically free abilities for the most part. Cause you gotta think Flash is one. Quad and uh, Ricky Williams probably two apiece. I mean, he, he might have, honestly, he probably has, I would guess he probably has three on Ricky Williams. Probably. So yeah, that's probably it. One on, one on, one on, um, Flash, two on Quad, three on, three on Ricky is what I would guess. Zero across the board elsewhere. All right. So we're tied up now. Um, I believe I will be getting ball at half. Uh, but, you know, Get back and control this game. I need to score here. I need to score. I had a big run the first time I had the ball. I just ran draw. Um, and we're going to go right back to it. And that was... Ooh, that was bad vision by me. I had it to the right. I tried to cut back left. And I actually lost yardage there. So, I'm trying to hurry this up. Because, again, like, I'm trying to score here. So, another thing about why I hurried up there is I didn't want him to move his safeties down in the box. I wanted him to have to guard the seam himself. By him having the user that, then I could throw the slant over the middle, pick up the first down, take a timeout. Um, you know, I needed to just get that first down, take a timeout, and now we can kind of get back back at it, right? And this time, we go counter. And can we hit the Caribbean island? Yes, good play call. We took a crib shot off the counter. Um, basically, what I noticed is he was always using the sub linebacker on the left of the screen. So, I was like, okay. He's always using that guy. If I flip counter, I can probably get, in, get, excuse me, get his user to crash down to the inside, expecting the inside run, break counter to the outside. His user will be out of the play. If I can get one block, one block on the edge, we might have a big run or a touchdown, and that's exactly what happened. We were able to get outside, and we were gone. So now, really, more than anything, I just can't let him score a touchdown. Like, ideally, I would have taken a little bit longer to score so we wouldn't have so much time because he does have two timeouts as well. But you got to take your touchdowns when you can. Um, and I do get ball. So I'm thinking, like, all right, maybe he'll, he'll even make a mistake. You never know. But he comes out and runs the ball with Quadfather, and I'm actually happy about that because, like, now, like, he the time, the time is rolling. He's going to have to chuck. Is this guy blind? Like that? That's your read? That cannot be your read. He does it again. Give me that shit. <laughs> hey, this guy is locking in on this tight end. This is crazy. He just keeps throwing to the tight end every play. That's the second time I've gotten him on the same end in this game. Literally just leaving the tight end unguarded and just taking away myself. Oh, and we got Omaha now. We got Omaha. We got Omaha on a rod. All right. So you guys can see what he's in. He's in the same cover four. It looks like he's blitzing that slot corner. 
We draw a dot here. We got Strat. Did I just throw a pick with Omaha? I'm ass. <laughs> That's bad. The thing is, I had him like a split second early. I just threw it a hair too late. I haven't looked at this guy's abilities. That's on me. I didn't know that guy had Acrobat. Um, I thought I could throw the ball there because I didn't know that guy had Acrobat. Acrobat is why he picked it. But still, I'm ass. I'm little ass for that. That's crazy. <laughs> now, I'm going to probably give up a field goal. So we went up from going up. We went from probably going up two scores before half getting ball, to now the dude's gonna get points. Ooh man, that was that was a that was a huge play. Yeah, we gave up a we gave up a field goal, man. Yeah, I'm ass for that. That's all on me. Can't throw picks of Omaha now. Also, guys, big mistake by me this whole game. You gotta look at your opponent's abilities, both on offense and defense. I'm just lazy about that sometimes because oftentimes I'm going to be real. I don't respect my opponents the way I should. I just think I'm going to come in and win every game and not even have to fully try. That's on me. You can't, you can't do that. You got to be smarter. So don't, don't be me. Always check your opponent's abilities because that's the type of shit that can happen if you don't. Um, if you don't know their abilities, you don't even know the things that their players are capable of, right? I had no idea he had Acrobat, and what do you know? I got picked off by an Acrobat I didn't even know he had. So, got to check abilities, right? Got to. Every game, that should be the first thing you do. First play on offense, first play on defense, just so you know. You know, that is big information because, like, when you know if they have knockouts, um, maybe inside shades, one step ahead, Acrobats, pick artists, like, you know how you can attack them better. Then on offense, like, if, if you see that they don't have a certain ability – Maybe they, they're crazy. They don't have Hot Rod Master. Maybe they don't have Short and Elites. Maybe they don't have Secure Protectors. Maybe they don't have Identifier, Threat Detector. All sorts of things you never really know until you look. And that just gives you more information about how you can attack your opponent. And make sure you don't make huge mistakes like I did. But this guy, like, he has no run D. You guys can see, like, he, I'm, he's just giving up big runs left and right. I mean, I am doing a good job attacking him with different runs uh, depending upon what he's doing. Kind of mixing it up so he never gets comfortable on what run I'm going to use. But his run D is sleep. It's sleep. All right, but you guys can see my adjustments here. I'm really trying to defend that corner out. He's, and then, like, just use the middle myself. Um, you guys can see the adjustment I'm doing to take away that post is really, really slick, actually. I'm manning up the safety to the outside receiver. Then I'm manning up the outside corner to the running back. And that way, if he does do a wheel route out of the backfield or something like he just did to his running back, it's, it's guarded, and he's going to get sacked. And I can use it in the middle. But if he blocks the running back, then that corner double teams the post. And when the post gets double team, it gets bagged. And then I can just guard the tight end or the slant myself. So he's kind of noticing this, that every time he blocks the running back, his, his post is getting bagged. So now I feel like he's going to keep just sending it out every play. So then, like, because one-on-one, -on -one, that will always win. And then he's kind of just making me either guard the post or run and guard the tight end. Pretty smart strategy, actually. I've just baited him twice, leaving the tight end uncovered, and then just going and picking off his quick pass myself. See, then, again, look, he goes one-on-one, -on -one, throws the, the post slant. Because one-on-one, -on -one, that's, that's actually always going to win. And he's just throwing it in a way that my knockout can't even react. So... Pretty high-level strategy right there by him. He, he, he's noticing what I'm doing. It's like, I, I'm going to be honest, like, that's actually smart. Most players are not smart enough to notice that. Now, what I should do here, let's see if I do it or not. What I should do is I should put my curl flats on five, and since he's not blocking anybody anymore, just puts four, and on the trip side, put a five-yard flat, a five-yard curl flat to that slot corner, so then I don't have to use her that, and I can just sit over the middle. The thing is, though, if he starts to do seam streaks to the tight end or corner out to the tight end, I'd be in trouble again. But we'll see. We'll see what he's going to do. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the guy that's supposed to be manned up on him into that five-yard flat. And he throws it anyways. Oh, perfect adjustment. Just I didn't get rewarded, man. Wow, that's rough. You would like to get a rewarded for the perfect adjustment. All right, fourth down. This is probably the – you would think if he doesn't get this – we're screaming, and I gave up a touchdown. He did not throw it. Oh, that's the second time this game I feel like I've left that streak, and he just didn't even see it. The dude is not looking deep. And he, every That's another thing I've noticed about this guy. He is locked in on the quick throws. He's not even looking deep. 
So I got this guy so shook with the blitz, he's not even looking. Oh, oh, don't do it to him, Flash. I don't even got the X Factor. I don't even got the X Factor. I don't need no. I don't need no damn X Factor. We just got stick out here. We got stick out here. Hey man, he's out. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm out.